what's going on everybody we are back with another video and today uh, the objective is or in this video I'm going to try to uh, get the doors off uh, gut the inside of, of the of the truck and potentially take the front clip off I already got a cover for it so I'm not worried about it raining again or anything like that and I'm not really worried about anybody taking it anyways so that's what we're gonna do uh, and hopefully uh, we can get it done by the end of the day uh, it's a few bolts I've done this before so it should be rather quick and simple but like I said there's always never quick and simple so if you work on these you definitely know what I'm talking about uh, anyway so just want to thank everybody who's been watching my videos uh, the people that have stayed uh, loyal, my 200 and something plus subscribers, thank you guys again. I always say this, thank you for your time. I understand that time is precious, time is valuable. You can be doing a million different things other than looking at my videos or or, or seeing my annoying face. So, uh, <laughs> and I, you know, out here trying to trying to work on his uh, his project, right? So, so here it is. Before I really start taking it apart one last look before it's gonna look like this and the next time it does look like this it's gonna look pretty wild it's gonna be a circus show for sure does not have it so we're good there Getting to these doors, it's a little harder, and uh, I, I'm, I know you can do it with uh, without taking the front uh, fender off, but just for the ease of it, and this is going to be all taken apart, we got to start with the fenders, pull the front clip off. So removing the grill on these, super easy. There's just a couple bolts on each side, and it should pop out. You just got to kind of finesse it there a little bit should come off um, gotta remove the lights surprisingly there's one and then there's another one. Oh, okay I need a there's a cup right there gotta take that one off Grill. Right, anyone who's taking out the windshield wipers off these things is uh, it's a little bit of a bitch. So now we just gotta remove this. I don't even know what this part is called. But uh, there we go, it's out. Couple bolts down there that are just rusted and um, I just can't get. So you guys probably know me, I'm a, Cut that shit off. Cut that bitch off. You know, I don't waste my time on this shit, so. What's up? Uh, oh, you know it's about to go down. <laughs> oh, that was my neighbor, so. Yeah, we're gonna saw, saw some stuff off. I was able to get it off, and here comes the bumper. Oops, hopefully I set one down there. Let's see. Okay. Oh, man. I hate doing this. Here we go. So it's a couple of days after. Um, it's been really windy out here, so you know I've kind of stopped uh, with a lot of it. But this side is kind of done. The door and everything. Going to pretty much remove everything, <clears throat> all goods, everything. Gut the inside have have the cap ready for it just to come off and then um and then i'm gonna just leave the the drivetrain which the 350 with the transmission uh in that case i can just unbolt it and take it off real easy so that's really the goal at the end at the end of all this you know this is going to be an off-frame kind of build
took off both the doors, everything. The front clip is kind of already gone, minus the core support. Gotta figure out a way where I can attach this. I'm a little scared just because I hate when things leak and stuff, as you guys can see there, it's power steering fluid. Um, and I hate that I have to clean it up, but I don't know if there's a non-messy way of doing this, um, but I'm gonna give it to good old Collie's try and see where we go. Alrighty, so here's where we're at. Basically, uh, the fuel tank out, the gas tank, got the seat out. Uh, I also have, just gotta remove that there and then push or push all, all the wire through and uh, just disconnect it from the firewall. And then uh, obviously the, the steering column, figure that one out. But yeah, cab's super easy. I believe it has four bolts. Where is it at? Four bolts. So that's one of them. That's one of them over there. And then it's got a couple more over here. And that's pretty much it. So if anybody was wondering how three on a tree work, it's actually pretty cool. Um, down here, right on the steering column, all the different uh, gears on there and how it goes, uh, you know, every time you go one, two, that that series of uh, rods going up and down and moving is what uh, does the trick. So it's actually pretty cool. So we took the inner harness out. So it's basically just about now just debolting the thing or taking out some of the bolts and the air conditioning and freeing it up. Took out the steering column as well. It is over there. And uh, I'm going to say it's kind of it's kind of getting there as far as getting gutted and everything. All this stuff's not gonna be used. Obviously, it's gonna have an LS, and uh, and yeah, it'll be nice and shave and stuff. So, I think for now, this is kind of where I'll end this video because there's a lot more to go, uh, but most of it is out. So, uh, like I said, the cab is four bolts. Those are done. Boom. I just literally need to disconnect all the stuff on the inside, which is like the AC stuff, which isn't too crazy. And then all the stuff on the outside, which I can do. So next time I'll be taking the cab off and then uh, showing how to do that. But for now, that's exactly how you kind of take off a lot of that stuff.